So, a big night in the history of Southend United. Welcome to Roots Hall, almost a personal welcome there from the Southend chairman, Vic Jobson, as he does his final safety checks at the Spurs end before the fourth division side take on Tottenham Hotspur from the first division in the second round, second leg of the Littlewoods Cup. Here comes Southend, led by captain Paul Roberts, fourth division leaders at the moment, a very attractive side, 100% home record here. Dave Webb, their manager, says, go out, enjoy yourselves, make a few friends, and make people believe that you too could have been in the first division if you'd have had a little bit of fortune. Spurs, led by Gary Mabbott, they lead, of course, from the first leg, that one goal scored by Terry Fennick, very valuable here. But they've had to reorganise at the last minute because Guy Butters was ill, and that means their central defence at the back, which has never been too secure this season, could be a little bit experimental here. How much is that going to affect them? But, of course, they have so much talent, including... Gary Lineker, £1.4 million from Barcelona. He said it would take him time to settle back into British football. It has taken a little time. He's clearly coming through that period. Southend hope that he won't get it totally right tonight. But, of course, around Gary Lineker, there's so much other talent. For instance, number eight, Gascoigne. Such precocious skills. Sometimes they would say a little bit of a suspect temperament, but he's the sort of player who could turn a game. So the scene set now for what could be a magnificent night of football. Spurs, the first division aristocrats in the white, leading by one goal to nil against Southend, the fourth division minnows in the blue, but they enjoy these circumstances. And it's referee Paul Danson from Leicester who's in charge. Norwegian goalkeeper Eric Norsthorsvet, but he knows that if things don't settle in the first few minutes, life could be difficult for him. And it's so important for South End to not only keep it to firm at the back with the experienced Paul Brush and young Spencer Pryor, but also to get at Tottenham as quickly and as fast as they can. Sedgley with the long throw, which could be a powerful weapon for Spurs. Well cleared by Roberts here. Does he keep it in? Another long throw for Steve Sedgley. Paul Stewart, the obvious target here to aim for. It's a difficult one. Stewart is up there appealing for a corner. And the Leicester referee says it's a goal kick. So the pressure eased, thankfully, on the south end here. So now they've got uh, a chance to get themselves organised and get it forward. Paul Sansom with the kick. Perfect night here at Roots Hall, though, for viewing and for playing. Roy McDonough coming across, getting into a gaggle of players there, doing well. David Crown, McDonough pumping it forward. Here comes Bennett, Benny in a good run. Van der Heer brings him down. This is a free kick. No, and Crown just shoots past the far post. But most players had stopped thinking that was going to be a free kick when the number three, Pat Vandenhaal, brought down Gary Bennett, but the referee said play on, Crown did play on, and the Norwegian goalkeeper very happy to see that one just whistle past his far post. So that was a clear let off there for Tottenham Hotspur. Another desperately good kick though by the Norwegian keeper, Thomas. With the throw down the line, playing safe to Naeem and Stewart. In goes uh, the Spurs player, Van den Haal, very aggressively. And South End with the Paul Brush sweeping up there. Keeping it very tight and moving around, marking tight. Sedgley not sure where it is, the whistle's gone, free kick. Roy McDonough with the traffic directions Roberts cuts out Paul Brush bends it forward Bennett chases goalkeepers come out, he's not too sure what he's up to didn't know whether he was going to take it left foot or right foot and South End keeping the tempo high Crown coming across, Mitchell Thomas puts it out and Thomas lambasts his goalkeeper for that fairly desperate clearance that's put him in trouble 
So it's going to be Andy Dixon with the throw. A lot of movement by the South End players. David Crown there first. Naeem almost fouls him. And there's Butler's cross. And it's flicked out by Fennick. And Spurs are in some disarray here. So it's the first corner of the game. And that goes to South End. It's going to be taken by young Jason Cook, the former Spurs player. A lot of big guys coming up. A few on the edge of the area. Martin comes in on this one. He's got it. He scored. South End are one up and only five minutes gone, Dave Martin. And what a fantastic breakthrough here for South End United. South End one, Spurs nil, that means it's level on aggregate. And in the first five minutes, South End couldn't have wanted anything better. Goalkeeper didn't see it at all, it was a good corner, Martin got up well. And a free kick here. Well, if Southend can keep them on the run, there's no telling what can happen here. Gascoigne and Fennick on the ball. Lineker and Stewart over the far side. Fennick with the kick. And Sedgley couldn't get it. It runs out. It's exactly what Southend want. Time to settle. Keep the pace up. They've got the first division side on the run at the moment but in real terms the score is 1-1 so plenty of noise from the north bank it's pretty silent up this end though Allen competing with that Roberts with quite a bit of space although he prefers his right foot good clearance though Fennick down the line again Roberts in there hard, a uh, little bit of aggravation between Roberts there and Paul Allen. Referee doesn't much like it. There's clearly a certain amount of temperament in the Spurs side, a certain amount of nervousness. Here's Roberts with a kick. Good lead by Roy McDonough, he's competing so well. Wide here for McDonough. Two players after him. Looked like a foul there, but the referee says play on. In comes Dave Martin. Roy McDonough replacing the divots, but a bit unfortunate not to get a free kick. In fact, he has got one in all the noise here. The, re the referee's whistle hard to hear. Dave Martin got his tackle in. Certainly after the event had finished. Here's Jason Cook with the cross now. And it looks as if Martin was fouled there by Sedgley as the ball went in. A brush couldn't get it at the far post. Martin picks himself up. Has a brief word with the referee. The game goes on. Good leap there. And Southend seem to be winning the ball in the air in a lot of uh, areas of this field. That could be so important to them. It looked like a push there, but the game continues. Allen ducks out of uh, Roberts' challenge. Roberts down the line to McDonough, too strong for him. Fennick back in. Paul Allen. Gascoigne tightly marked, over tightly marked by Peter Butler. Butler and Jason Cook, not the biggest players in midfield, but it's important to South End that they keep, keep it tight, keep working hard. Here's Stewart to Gascoigne. Gascoigne stroking it around to Mitchell Thomas and Naeem. And Thomas, will he try a chip to the far post? Up goes Lineker. And well cleared. And well picked up by Roy McDonough. Bit of an untidy scramble there with Sedgley getting involved in a fairly mean sort of way. He takes the quick throw in. Stewart strong player Peter Butler keeps working on him Allen Gascoigne good challenge by Gary Bennett Jason Cook putting uh, David Crown away but the ball wouldn't roll for him and here's Allen with the cross and the mistake by Pryor and there's opening for Gary Lineker will he score? great save by Sansom now Gascoigne and well wide but there was a golden opening there for Tottenham Hotspur. 
An unfortunate error there by the young central defender, Spencer Pryor, let Lineker in. Good work, though, by goalkeeper Paul Sansom. Allen. Butler coming back again. Butler working really hard. Sedgley forward, though. And Dixon does well to get it away. But there's a bit of space and time for Mitchell Thomas. Sedgley trying to get Naeem away, but between them... Pryor and uh, Dixon do the job. Lineker working hard. Naeem, just a little knock out by Andy Dixon. Bit of Spurs pressure here. They've certainly missed one opening, but we haven't seen much from them yet. And on the night, they're trailing by one goal to nil. Mitchell Thomas with the long throw. Up goes Stewart, well beaten. Thomas again, offside. The whistle clearly had gone there. Naeem, the Moroccan-born Spanish international, didn't hear it, I don't think. And Andy Dixon not too happy about the elbow challenge. bit difficult for us to see from this uh, South Bank view the offsides but uh, certainly a clear view of a good night here at Roots Hall and a bad night for South End at the back bit of perseverance there by Gary Bennett he thought it was a corner but the referee says it's a Spurs goal kick Spurs at the back, not too happy without Guy Butters. With, they've got uh, Van den Howe, the number three, and Gary Mabbott in the centre of defence. But uh, David Crown and Roy McDonough, with good running by Gary Bennett, are giving them quite a few problems. Here's McDonough. It's physical out there. Bennett is down with a face injury. Forward goes David Crown, and back by Mabbott. Well, Bennett uh, is having a couple of problems here. The Norwegian goalkeeper, Eric Torsvedt, uh, very sportingly kicks the ball out so that uh, Bennett can get some treatment. It's a good racing run by David Crown. They're piling into the penalty area. There's danger here for Spurs. McDonough, oh, against the bar. Desperately bad luck there for Southend. The goalkeeper hadn't a clue where it is and uh, Martin trying to retrieve the situation is forced out of play and Southend were unlucky there and Roy McDonough powering a magnificent shot with a great pullback by David Crown against the bar it could so easily have been 2-0 on the night Roberts with the throw but uh, it's pretty obvious that Paul Allen's not going to make things very uh, easy for him and that's an unfriendly gesture if ever there was one well away by Mabbott, not totally clear, but they push up, and the Norwegian has it. Well, he's had a torrid time in this uh, first 10 or 15 minutes. Pryor gets in there. Mitchell Thomas lets it run out. Bennett seems to be suffering no ill effects from that nose injury. Naeem uh, in for Allen, wide for Terry Fennick. Well blocked by Jason Cook, closing the man down well. Fennick with the throw for Spurs. Lineker. Fennick back in again. And Paul Stewart getting up there fairly aggressively is a judge to have fouled Spencer Pryor. So Brush and Pryor doing good work for South End at the back there, and one particularly good save from Paul Sansom. McDonough winning that one again. Crown controls it, holds it up well. Here comes Roberts forward. And that was a late challenge by Paul Allen. If that happened in the fourth division, you might have said that was a bit clumsy, but this is a, an international class player, and that was late. 
Crown well blocked but it's another corner for South End and Spurs are not happy in the air South End have scored once and hit the bar once could this be another one Jason Cook's corner not quite deep enough this time but cleared in some panic so another attempt again almost the same Peter Butler runs it out with Jason Cook just unable to get it Roberts now under a bit of pressure that's nicely done bit of shirt pulling but he clears it shirt pulling was uh, penalized Roy McDonough gets up again Mabbott Crown trying to get it wide Bennett isn't there Dave Martin and brush between them Dave Martin uh, pretty effective here playing just in front of the back two charging about in midfield Sansom's kick McDonough again Crown trying to knock it on this is a good one for Butler can he get there great effort by Peter Butler coming through from midfield terrific south end move Spurs very fortunate to keep that one out Jason Cook's corner Gascoigne has it haven't seen much of him so far but he's got the poise to hold the ball beats Butler and a nice ball to Naeem forward to Lineker and Brush had closed him down well no danger free kick another injured player Brush's long kick Sedgley gets up well it's amazing to see a side of Spurs talents getting the ball out of their own penalty area like that they're under some pressure Roberts long throw a good long one Butler gets to it Roberts chases Allen's onto him oh the flying boot there but back they come for another south end corner Jason Cook that's a better one and the goalkeeper pulls it out well and into space for Naeem Bennett chases hooked into the middle and South End have it clear for the moment Mabbott back in offside against Gary Lineker Gascoigne under pressure Sedgley takes it off him tries to get one inside Dixon for Naeem could be danger here and whistling across the face of the area and away by Brush Fennick Allen Good play here by Spurs. Mitchell Thomas almost robbed by Bennett, and Bennett's doing a good job. What a searing run by Gary Bennett. Perhaps overdid it a little bit. The referee, though, gives South End a free kick when Steve Sedgley brings him down. But while Spurs protest, South End perhaps might have felt that had that been released a little bit earlier to players running wide on the flanks it might have been an opening for South End but there's certainly been a severe warning for Steve Sedgley Peter Butler on the ball for South End they've been winning everything in the air what about McDonough or Martin here good bit of defending though picked up by Gascoigne Paul Allen support from Fennick behind him Paul Stewart knocks it back to Fennick Lineker's going through the middle and this is for Stewart and just cleared it looked a little bit anxious there for South End Mabbott couldn't get it clear here though nor Mitchell Thomas well played by Andy Dixon He's got a very talented player up against him in the Moroccan-born Naeem. Well, that was a pretty useless ball forward from Spurs. So far, so good as far as the North Bank is concerned, if you're a South End supporter. The 
the gate here of 10,400. That's a full house, of course. Receipts of 43,000 pounds. That's a record. And in the bank at the moment, one goal for South End. They need more. Picked up well by Lineker, laid off quickly to Gascoigne. Lineker's on the flank. What a great tackle, though, by Andy Dixon. Pursuit by Bennett. And there was a little bit of uncertainty between Van den Hau and Torsvet. And Bennett almost had them in three minds rather than two. Roberts gets a quick rebound, but it's Allen in possession for Spurs. Well, it's a good run by Allen, but Roberts has it. And it's just kept in. Good defending by Southend. McDonough and Fennick. There's Martin to David Crown. He's got the pace. Can he get by? Crown's cross blocked. Put out by Fennick. But fast attacks, good swift play and high crosses have certainly caused Spurs a few problems. Roberts again with a throw. And Roberts getting in on this one. Again, some doubtful defending by Spurs. And he does well to get that one into the middle. It's away by Mabbott. They're happy to see the ball out of play at the moment. Jason Cook. Good deep one. And a push there, possibly by Dave Martin. But certainly a free kick to Spurs. And they're grateful for that. Well, an unusual view of a football match, but uh, a pretty good view if you're a South End supporter. Still South End attack, but more goals needed. Crown trying to get onto that one. Away by Pat Vandenhau. Picked up by Paul Stewart. Seen very little of him so far. Trying to cross it wide for Gary Lineker. He's got Naeem supporting him. It's important that he's held up for a bit. Naeem in space. And Peter Butler does a great job. Crown, can he keep it in? He does so well. This is good, confident first time play by South End. Butler coming in again. Is it too strong? It is. Pat Vandenhau pumping it forward and out and that wasn't very impressive for a full international so Dave Webb said to go out there make a few friends and they're doing pretty well at the moment Butler gives himself a bit of time hooks it forward too far forward though Mabbott with time and for the moment the pressure has eased on Torsford's defence Pryor does well it's picked up by Roberts and overcomes Jason Cook to win it first nice little bit of play by the former Spurs player long long ball forward again they're just perhaps a bit hurried at the moment with their passes directed at crown and company up front roberts to roy mcdonough jason cook standing off and then getting rid of it quickly as the tackle came in spencer pryor and lineker forward by name spencer pryor gets it away but uh, vanden Howe 
is then beaten by Butler. It's very competitive in midfield at the moment. Bennett and Mitchell Thomas, free kick against Bennett. Taking it short to Gascoigne. Mitchell Thomas found on that flank. Good run by Thomas. And a useful cross too. Well defended. Banged away by Spencer Pryor. Roy McDonough knocks it down to Peter Butler. And here comes South End. But that wasn't an easy one for Crown. And Mabbott does the job efficiently. Lineker and Spencer Pryor, an awkward ball, and Lineker's in! A very, very difficult ball. Spencer Pryor learning the trade, and he's getting some advice from more experienced colleagues. That was a difficult one, and Lineker almost made him pay for a mistake. Here's Gascoigne. Paul Allen, well blocked by Butler. Naeem with the far post cross. Good bit of defending this time. Jason Cook thought someone was behind him. It wasn't. Down comes Mitchell Thomas. It's a free kick, obviously. Gascoigne. Naeem with the shot. And a good one, too. And well kept out by Paul Sansom. And well held. It would have been so easy to beat that one away as it curled at him. McDonough with Vandenhauer, and here comes Crown. He's badly pulled back by the Spurs captain. And a blatant foul there. Crown, with his pace and his goal-scoring ability, would have been well away there, and you can understand why the Leicester referee is going to his pocket. So Gary Mabbott is going to be booked. But I suppose it's a small price to pay for Spurs because uh, with Crown turning like that and getting away, he would surely have had a chance of making it 2-0. It's a free kick then. Peter Butler with David Crown. Gary Bennett getting in front of that small wall it's not a particularly good one and they came to him very fast Butler so the danger over for the moment but can Andy Dixon make it a good throw again Spurs try this infuriating trick of standing right in front of the thrower Mabbott gets it out. Mitchell Thomas clears it against Roy McDonough. Naeem goes down. Stewart with Pryor. And that's a corner. Things not going totally well for Spencer Pryor at the moment. It's important that a young player like that keeps his nerve, keeps battling because he's got such promise as uh, most people at Roots Hall have noticed many, many times. And good defensive header by Martin, and the whistle's gone anyhow. Again, Paul Roberts, the captain at the back, making a few points. Getting back into the left-back position. Easy one for Allen. Away by Lineker and thumped back by Andy Dixon. Jason Cook, a nice little ball, but a great tackle by Gascoigne. Roy McDonough getting up there well in the middle of a problem area. 
and Spurs are having trouble in the air and Crown can get this over to Bennett he's there 2-0 Gary Bennett and once again Spurs found wanting in the air they couldn't get the ball clear David Crown the number nine made a very very important fast break an unselfish ball across the face of the goal and Gary Bennett is in there first 2-0 and they are absolutely delighted and Southend now are ahead for the first time 2-1 on aggregate but it's the Essex side here who have their tails right up and that's five minutes before half time can they hang on to it free kick now though to Spurs Pat Vandenhaal Spencer Pryor does well Prior away, but it's still Spurs. Steve Sedgley hooks it back in. Butler. Paul Brush to David Crown. They're looking for more. David Crown's up and away. Against Mabbott. Who's onto this one? They're really pulling him apart. And here comes Paul Allen. Oh, he scored. Paul Allen has pulled one back for Spurs just before half-time at a period when Southend were well in control and that is a body blow Paul Allen not only levels the aggregate score but of course Spurs scoring away from home gives them a slight advantage so 2-1 on the night, 2-2 on aggregate The Spurs, who could have been out for the count, have suddenly discovered a goal from Paul Allen, and they're back in business. Mitchell Thomas, Gascoigne bangs it forward, away by Paul Brush. McDonough couldn't get that cleanly. Vandenhaal to Thomas. It's done a little bit for the Spurs' confidence here. Not too much though. Naeem takes it quickly to Gascoigne. Naeem on the run. Picked up by Paul Allen. Here comes Stewart back to Sedgley. Through the middle for Lineker. Here's Stewart. Can he shoot? He can, but there's no power in it. And Sansom has it before Lineker got at him. Good move by Spurs. The finish wasn't quite first division. For the first time we hear Spurs supporters in some sort of voice beneath us here at the South Bank end. David Crown hooking it wide, a good ball to Bennett if he can keep it in. Mitchell Thomas has got a bit of pace though. And Bennett has got the ball, Crown with a chance. And in it goes, but I'm afraid it's offside against David Crown. Gascoigne, closing minutes now of the first half. Good ball forward for Gary Lineker. Paul brushes onto him. And a fine tackle from the experienced South End defender. Steve Sedgley preparing himself for the long throw once more. And time added on now in this first half. Away by Butler and Jason Cook quick one to Gascoigne Spurs uh, attacking here in the closing moments of this half Naeem gets another bite at it it's Allen through to uh, Gary Lineker but the whistle goes for the end of what has been a very exciting first half well, it started perfectly for Southend with Dave Martin's header in the fifth minute. Then Gary Bennett got a second, put them into the overall lead after 40 minutes. It looks so good, but Paul Allen has pinched one just before the half-time break. That's changed the pattern of things, but a wonderful game here at Roots Hall. 
The half-time score then, South End 2, Spurs 1. On aggregate, it's 2-2. There's more to come after this break. Welcome back to Roots Hall. Let's just briefly recap on that goal which could make all the difference here. The one scored by Paul Allen just before half-time. Nicely set up by Lineker. He wraps it in with his left foot. That made it 2-1. Totally against the run of play. Could do a lot for the morale of Spurs and their 2,000 supporters here. But of course, because it makes the aggregate level 2-2, they have a slight advantage because of that away goal. So the start here of the second half. 2-1 on the night to the Blues, and they played so well in the first half. They could have had perhaps three or four. But Allen pulled one back after Martin and Bennett had given Southend a very deserved lead. Spurs obviously kicking now towards the South Bank end. They've still got a lot of problems before they're going to dispose of this fourth division side. Roberts uh, humps it forward. It's been so significant that the morale of the Spurs side has obviously been fairly fragile. They haven't been particularly good in defence and Southend have been playing some really incisive, quick football. David Crown with Roy McDonough and Bennett up front. Major problems and almost another problem there for Eric Torsvet. And the news from the dressing room at half-time is that the Bennett broke his nose but uh, is uh, carrying on. Well won by Dave Martin. Butler, who had an excellent first half, battling in there once more. Brush by past, but his young Jason Cook battling with the much more powerful Gascoigne. Gascoigne has the help of the law there, gets a free kick. It's going to be taken by Fennick. Paul Stewart chasing this, we haven't seen much of him so far. Roberts with him, pushing and shoving there, it's very physical, and a bit of kicking by Stewart after that ball went, and Van den Howe puts it back. One thought for a moment, it might have been a, a strong one, an over-strong one for the Norwegian goalkeeper, but it was well judged. Naeem and Andy Dixon. Butler doing a good job. Forward goes Roy McDonough. Quickly relayed to Terry Fennick. Allen to Stewart. Allen again. Fennick, can he give it in? He can't, says a few thousand South End supporters. But good to see here some family groups with Spurs and South End supporters among them. Not an entirely unsegregated crowd here, but as, as far as many groups are concerned, it is. Butler does well to get in there. Looks appealingly towards the referee. Nothing given. Stewart with the elbow up there into Roberts's face, and the referee saw that clearly. That is obviously going to be a booking and Roberts is indicating where the elbow hit him just below the eye by the look of it and Roberts is in trouble he's such a strong player he's a good player but he does get himself involved in some scrapes and it's a red one Stewart is off well, to my knowledge, he hasn't been uh, warm before. He certainly hasn't been booked before in this game. So that's a red card for violent conduct. The elbow in the eye of South End captain Paul Roberts. And that's a bitter blow for Spurs. Here's the incident again. There's the elbow. And you can see where the referee is. He couldn't have had a better view. And he reckoned that to be violent conduct. So the 10 men now of Spurs, losing by two goals to one, have big problems. But as we all know, the effect of having a man sent off often works against the 
side with 11 men. But here's Bennett, the number 11, trying to make a run of it. A tackle by the other number 11, Sedgley. Treatment for McDonough. Plenty of blood and guts in this game so far, and a flash of red from the referee has put Paul Stewart into the dressing rooms. Whistle's already gone. So whatever happens now in this match here at Roots Hall, they'll have plenty to talk about at South End for a time. Well won by Roberts. Back in by Thomas. Ford goes Lineker. Offside. He's got such pace, Gary Lineker, that he can often beat the linesman's flag as well as uh, a defence if they're not totally on the mark. But Pryor and Brush have done things well so far. A couple of personal errors have crept in, but the discipline overall has been excellent. Mabbott getting in there. Looked to be a bit of an elbow there too. Not a good ball. Roberts has it. Cook into the middle, too strong for Bennett as he raced in from the right-hand side. Now it's Spurs on the break. Van den Howe, Naeem, they're starting to use the ball much quicker now, Spurs. Gascoigne, more two-touch play rather than hanging on to it too long, and that was over-clever, and an easy one for Spencer Pryor. And a chase by McDonough and Mabbott. Keep battling, force them into error. Even if you don't get the throw in, that's not an easy place to get it to clear from. I think Andy Dixon thought they were going to get the throw. Spencer Pryor can't control it. There will obviously be a lot of... Uh, top-class clubs coming to watch young talent like that and you've got to get your control right if you're going to be a first division player but he's obviously still learning the game but there's going to be a substitution here for Spurs off comes Thomas on comes uh, Howells David Howes coming on. Pryor puts it back in. Lineker, well tackled. Gascoigne, great control. Strong play, brought down by Peter Butler. But no real animosity there. But Butler getting a minor lecture from the referee. Short one to Gascoigne. They're trying to get him into the game much more. That's a fair tackle from Roy McDonough. But it's still Spurs. Naeem. Great control. Howells gives it away, Jason Cook forward for Crown and he's offside. So difficult to keep your head in these circumstances, marvellous atmosphere here at Roots Hall. Record attendance, a record gate receipts, big attendance. Lineker against Brush, laid back. For Allen, Gascoigne, chip forward, and Naeem has it. Oh, it's great play by Naeem, he's in here. Naeem makes it 2-2, and on aggregate, Spurs are now ahead. It was a terrific goal by Naeem. He fooled three or four defenders there with that quick turn. 2-2 then on the night, but that one goal by Terry Fennick at White Hart Lane a fortnight ago means that the First Division side have now grabbed the lead.
So once again, a case of the 10 men starting to get their game together better than when they had 11. Now what can Southend offer here? Spurs have time on their hand. They've got to keep the pressure and the pace up. The tackles have got to go a bit, but perhaps not quite like that from Dave Martin. And unfortunately, his name is going to go into the book too. They must keep their heads, they must keep their concentration because in the first half they dominated the game, they could have had three or four goals. Now it's 2-2 and overall they're behind. Fennick with the free kick. Roberts knocks it out, it's a corner. Naeem and Allen. Naeem has been a real problem. Gascoigne. Naeem, it's a strong one, it's too strong is it? No, keeps it in. Alan to Naeem again. Some good skills here. Gascoigne, will he hump it forward? It's a good one and Lineker's in. And although it was well covered, it was an excellent move. Roberts has it. One by Sedgley. Naeem has come over this side on this occasion. Gascoigne. 2-2, but 3-2 on aggregate. Southend still in this fight, but they're going to have to show a lot of character to wrestle this one away from the first division side. David Howes, a substitute, back to Mabbott, the captain. They know now that they can uh, knock it around with a little bit more confidence. Southend must keep at them. Well, of course, you can run yourself to death by chasing those, but you cannot allow them to do what they want. Hard one for Roberts. Loses it to Allen. Brush. Roberts under a lot of pressure. Finds Spencer Pryor. Nicely laid forward to Butler. This is more like it. Not a particularly good relay back from uh, Roy McDonough, though. And it's Spurs coming again. Once again, Naeem. Score that uh, vital second goal and... Vandenau is even coming up now. Butler does well. Jason Cook and Brush leaves it. They can start again. McDonough does well. David Crown. Whistle had gone. Gary Lineker just dropping back there to make a point or two. I think he can see with his experience that it's by no means Spurs in total control here. It could yet go either way. Roberts is in. There's a little bit of wind. They're not easy to judge in the air. Dave Martin. No one really can chase that one. Strangely enough, there seems to be more discipline in the Spurs back line now than there was in the 20 minutes of the first half. The goals obviously will make a difference to the whole of the side. Roberts got in there well. Up goes Martin. 
Brush and puts it back to Lineker. He squares it and Naeem couldn't quite get there. There's a little bit of a worried look about South End and it curls just past the far post from Naeem. Donna gets up. Howells and Sedgley. So it's Spurs using an extra defensive player in the middle to try and win a few balls, particularly in the air with David Howells and number 14 competing well. Naeem and Andy Dixon. Naeem's got tremendous skill. Gascoigne too. Vandenhaal. Vandenhaal chasing this one and just knocked into the arms of goalkeeper Paul Sansom. Clever stuff. It's a pretty hopeful ball forward though, an easy one for Fennick. And ball through the middle for Lineker and offside. Now South End coming back again. Dixon to Martin, he hoped, but Lineker's in there quicker. Gascoigne beginning to show some first division skills here Gascoigne can chip it and just over a chip at full speed not easy at all just over the top but clearly Gascoigne and to a certain extent that Lineker getting much more into the game in the second half. A real danger to South End. Fennec can police that one off, that comes to nothing. Martin does well to get that one. Crown holding off his man, Crown turns and Howell's doing a good job to get in front of him. Very difficult for us to judge distances from this angle to see just how far David Crown and company are away from goal. The target looks pretty big even from here though. One by Brush. Butler at the second attempt. Roberts in for Butler. Looking good here for South End. Martin's ball wide to Bennett, who hasn't been able to get into the game much in the second half. This is more like it though. Bennett racing forward. Martin battling hard and winning well. David Crown. Who's there for the cross? Nobody but the Norwegian goalkeeper. Not a desperately good final ball, but there's some good build up there by South End. Butler going in for this one, gets a foot to it. And the bit of the old offside here, anyhow. Looks as if we're making a preparation for a substitution. But for the moment, we're going to have uh, a free kick. Goalkeeper Paul Sansom encouraging from the back. Paul Brush with the kick. Roy McDonough gets up to compete well. And here's Bennett on the way through and he's got it. And South End in the lead. A very, very simple goal. 3-2 to the Blues. And Bennett the scorer once again. So now we have a real cup tie here because it's 3-3 on aggregate. But of course the away goals rule, so important, it means that Spurs will win it if it stays like that. Seems a bit of an injustice somehow, but uh, you can't go on playing these cup ties all through the winter. And that is the way the competition is decided at the moment. So a good goal by Bennett. Despite that nose injury, 
is second of the game, but Southend now need another. Gascoigne in there strongly. Paul Brush winning that one. It was his free kick planted on the head of Roy McDonald that brought Bennett's goal and the third for Southend. And really that should put the whole of Roots Hall into a very good heart, except perhaps for the 2,000 Spurs supporters just below us here. Gascoigne. Strong play. But three against one is usually too much at any level. And away goes Bennett again. Picked up by Roberts. It'll give them the heart and the legs to keep chasing, keep uh, pursuing lost causes, perhaps. But Roy McDonough, I fear, could be in a bit of trouble here. McDonough has made such an important contribution to this game. 31 years of age, he's on a week-by-week -week contract. And uh, despite the number of players that uh, Southend and other clubs have signed in the past to replace him, they never seem quite to get rid of Roy McDonough. But he's overstepped the mark here a little bit, according to referee Paul Danson, and he's booked. But I shouldn't think that'll stop him chasing about. So we've just had a substitution. Justin Edinburgh comes on for uh, Andy Dixon. Bennett, who can he get support from? Roberts has come over to the right-hand side and he's uh, just finding it difficult to settle at the moment. It's a free kick, in fact. Gascoigne, with a cool one, finds Fennec over here, but Spurs cannot afford to be anything but cool. They trail by three goals to two. They know that the away goal situation is to their advantage, but they also know that, despite the efforts of players like uh, Allen and Gascoigne, that Southend have matched them player for player. A fierce tackle there. So Southend looking for that goal which will give them overall victory. Looking as if they're well capable, but it means of course they'll push more players forward. They might get a bit anxious and there might be a few openings for Spurs at the back here if Spencer Pryor and company and Paul Brush particularly don't keep their concentration. Bennett losing out to Gascoigne and this man is the most dangerous one. And Lineker really didn't get a chance to line that one up. That was good defending. It is uh, Justin Edinburgh, the substitute at fullback. McDonough holds it up well. Mabbott putting him under great pressure. Cook back to Edinburgh. Down goes Crown, forward goes Martin. The tackles still coming thick and fast in midfield. Very competitive cup tie, but great entertainment here. But still uncertain how it's going to finish. Pat Vandenhau taking no risks. Up goes Spencer Pryor, uh, really unchallenged in that situation. I know he's playing against 10 men, but really there should have been more Spurs players piling up on him. Justin Edinburgh does well. Martin, a bit too strong. Fennick back in again. Martin once more. Jason Cook down to Peter Butler. What a busy game he's had. And offside. Well, they've had a good night so far, but one more goal will make it a perfect night. Crown. Martin not quite sure. Does well to come back this way. Spurs trying to make it difficult for Southend in midfield, but they've fought their way through with good play. And here's Gary Bennett wide on the flank now. 
and almost blocked. Peter Butler gets it forward but out. Martin in there well. Crown knocks it back but only to David Howells. Spencer Pryor holding Lineker off. And up and under from Sansom. Again, McDonough doing a good job in the air, but it's picked up by Terry Fennick. Paul Allen helping out. Fennick again to Howells. Naeem through the middle. And Lineker is superbly tackled by Paul Brush. Gascoigne. Spurs still in possession, oh, lovely play by Gascoigne, and that's a great run. And good goalkeeping by Paul Sansom. But the Spurs supporters in front of us enjoyed that one, and no doubt about it, that was terrific play by the two players. Crown gets up, beaten by Mabbott. Two South End players desperately anxious to get the ball. Mabbott. Still not 100% settled in that central defensive role. Spencer Pryor thumps one forward. Down goes Mabbott. There's no infringement. Or was there? The referee says play on. That's the score line which is so impressive, so encouraging from South End's point of view. But they need another one because it's 3-3 on aggregate. And Naeem's in there against Roberts. Again, great skills, but Brush read it well. Nice ball forward to David Crown. A couple of tackles coming in from behind, but he laid it off well to Edinburgh. Who can support him here? And a good effort by Roy McDonough coming in, and he couldn't quite get a touch. A lot of the Spurs players looking over towards the linesman, wondering about the flag that, in fact, obviously did go up, but there seemed to be half an opening there for Southend. And Southend beginning to get the pattern of their game going again. There's some nice play here. Much better play than normally you'll see in the fourth division, certainly. David Crown on a good run. And good play, but Van den Hauer is in there to nick it off him. But again, another South End player will go up there in support. Young Jason Cook. And that's been a really encouraging facet of the play here. They've fought with skill and they've fought with a lot of aggression. And they've had Spurs on the run for much of the game. Spencer Pryor and Martin Allen are not quite sure who's going to get it and Howell's got in there in front of them. That wasn't 100% good play, but they've won it back again. David Crown races down the right and the flag's gone up once more. Bennett has come back to try and stop Gascoigne. Naeem once more against Roberts. Naeem's cross and... It was Paul Allen who'd crept in at the far post. Good header by Fennick, but uh, it's picked up quickly by Jason Cook. Difficult one to control and nicely relayed by Dave Martin. Some quality first time play here. Well up by Mabbott. Martin couldn't quite get there. The pace of the game visibly increased. Naeem changing direction, but badly. Edinburgh, can he find a man? Not totally well. Brush and Pryor. Well, it's important for Southend to keep the tempo up, but again, they've got to keep their heads. If they concede another one, they're dead ducks. Again, competing well in the air. And up and under from Bennett. Drops for Paul Allen only. Into space for Gary Lineker. Can he, can he keep it in? He can't. 
with only 10 men on the field. The service for Lineker in the second half hasn't been what you might expect, but that's understandable. Handball. Lineker with Brush. Gascoigne. Naeem. And a good run forward by Pat Vanden Howe. And a good clearance by Brush. Howells loses it to Martin. Play on. Butler knocking it wide to Crown with Bennett on that touchline. Crown doesn't use him. Comes the other way to Cook. And that wasn't strong enough to find Bennett. And Bennett's pinched it off him. And still they're competing. Fennick for Tottenham Hotspur. The side that's losing but knows it's in the lead. Strange situation. Mabbott gets it cleanly. Edinburgh with the throw for South End. Quick one down to David Crown. Cleared away by Howells. And they'll have to pick it up and start again. Brush quickly to Spencer Pryor. Roy McDonough chases. Too strong. Gascoigne, Gascoigne still with it, so strong, such control, will he try one here, Gascoigne still with it, and just wide, a really tremendous talent, that was a hard one forward for the front man, floated perhaps too gently by young Edinburgh, is that one over the back for them to chase, Bennett will chase anything, here he comes, and a good effort. Didn't really test the goalkeeper, but it was made from nothing. And Butler is fighting in there, and away they come, and Crown's in with a chance here. David Crown, and he's hit the post. David Crown has hit the post from a situation where you'd expect him to bury it, but that was desperately unlucky. That could so easily have gone in, that could have been South End on the way to the next round. But it hit the post, and it's still 3-2. But that one won by the perseverance of Peter Butler, and forcing Spurs into an area at the back. And they are wobbling still. And the North Bank loved it. David Crown still shaking his head over that one. Edinburgh is in there, does well to control his header down. Pushed on by uh, Jason Cook, not quite strong enough though. Spurs know they've been let off the hook more than once here. Spencer Pryor under this, picked up by Howells, back goes Vanden Howe, Bennett's on to him. Well, Vanden Howe, the number three, is a pretty tough guy, but if he knows that uh, Bennett's after him, not surprised he gets rid of it a bit quickly. Naeem against Roberts, Martin came in there strongly, it's kept in for the moment anyhow. Still a very even cup tie. Top of the fourth division, the aristocrats of the first division. And a packed house here at Roots Hall. And some great entertainment all round. Spencer Pryor does well to get up to that one. Naeem beats him. Really outstanding balance. Gascoigne, and whenever he's got the ball, it's dangerous. 
and a great save by Paul Sansom. Just a little tip over. And the talent of Gascoigne revealed once again. Corner to Spurs. Naeem and Paul Allen. Edinburgh gets a foot in, but not enough. Paul Allen again. A difficult one away by Roberts. And bang to safety by Howes. Another substitution then for South End. Mario Walsh coming on. And the player to go off is Jason Cook, the former Spurs player who's made uh, such a big contribution here. Still an up and under to go for and crowds away again. But once more the whistle has gone. So still it's in the balance. And of course if it's this score at the end of 90 minutes that means extra time and perhaps the 10 men will be put under more pressure Bennett difficult situation bangs it down the line chased by Walsh and Spurs take their time One by Edinburgh, away by Spencer Pryor. Hard one for McDonnery, makes it difficult for Spurs defenders though. Martin changes direction beautifully. Bennett, away by Howells. Martin in there again, he's working really well, but that's the end of the 90 minutes. It means we move now into two periods of extra time. A very impressive looking scoreline, but had David Crown not hit the post, had it gone in, it would have been all over. But at South End 3, Spurs 2, it means on aggregate it's 3-3, three, three, and it'll be decided now in extra time. So what will Dave Webb have to say to his players here, except to keep it going, they've done him and the club proud so far, but they still need one more goal. So still this cup tie is in the balance. Really it's been a magnificent evening's entertainment. And if you're a stranger here at Roots Hall, you'd be a little bit pressed to work out which was fourth division and which was first. Except perhaps for the Paul Gascoigne's of this world. He's a favorite now for this kick. His side trading by three goals to two, curved he attempted to away from the goalkeeper well defended though Roberts who's changed from left back to right back and has led the side well thumps it away and fights for this one Bennett chasing as always anything but nicely tied it up by the Spurs defense Fennick seeing that one out Paul Walsh the Spurs substitute Spurs not at all anxious to keep the tempo up here David Crown good run what's the cross like and good gathering by goalkeeper Eric Torsvet. And away goes Pat van den Howe. Roy McDonough can't catch him. In for Gascoigne. Chip forward for Gary Lineker. Spencer Price sticks tight with him. Wide for Paul Walsh. He's such a tricky player. Edinburgh will have to watch his step. He's beaten Edinburgh. What's the cross like? Well, it was a good shot by Lineker, but just wide. McDonough, a flick on to Walsh. Mabbott keeping him out. Good play by Walsh. And away by Fennick. Butler in there well, but hooked away by Sedgley. Back in again. 
onside Gary Bennett can Southend make this one count perhaps too near the goalkeeper and Roy McDonough curses an opportunity lost Spencer Pryor underneath it. Roberts under a bit of pressure from Naeem. Up goes Van den Haal. Walsh beats him, but obviously a Spurs throw. That'll suit the North London side. But they haven't had that much to be proud of here. They've had to battle really hard. And had Southend just hung on to that lead at the end of the first half a little bit longer and gone in with the two-goal lead. It might have been a very, very different story here. Certainly this extra time might not have been taking place. Howells wins it, but not cleanly. In again. Butler's battling, as usual. He's in again. Away by Sedgley. That was cool play. Gascoigne. Fennick. A chase by Lineker. He can't get it. So Pryor and Brush will be pleased that they've restricted someone of the talents of Lineker to a couple of half chances here. Fennick away well. Martin to McDonough, appeals for handball, it's given. And again, these interruptions not working in Southend's favour. Must be so difficult to be leading by three goals to two, and yet to know that they need more. And still Spurs trying to slow the pace of the game down. Difficult one for Justin Edinburgh, doesn't get it cleanly. Lineker tries to make sure he gets a, a corner, he succeeds. Roberts trying to rally the troops there. Naeem again using delaying tactics with Walsh. Good skills from Walsh, but Edinburgh right not to sell himself too much, but he certainly thrashed in on the tackle there. And the referee sorting it out. It's always difficult when the player goes down and the tackles are still going on. Gascoigne's free kick. And a brilliant overhead kick from Lineker against the post. And Spurs could have wrapped the game up there. And Lineker was unlucky. Gascoigne. And uh, offside. So let off there for South End with Lineker. A marvellous overhead kick against the post. But they can still win this one. Again, Crown is chasing. Mabbott trying to hold him up and the Spurs captain does a good job Walsh Mabbott pursuing this one but Butler stops him well there's been a lot of tension in this game the sending off of course didn't help relations between the two sides or indeed the officials but on the whole, fiercely competitive cup tie with South End a lot to be proud of. Spencer Pryor clears to Roy McDonough. Dave Martin forward to Crown. No danger here.
infuriating play, but I'm sure if Southend were ahead, they might adopt something similar. Or is that not in the Dave Webb principles? Free kick to Southend. Paul Brush to get it forward in the similar way that the Bennett goal was scored in the second half, perhaps. Well won by Howells. Well picked up by Lineker. Needs help. Naeem with Pat Vandenhaar on the flank. Howells getting away from Butler. Southend keep chasing, but there's a lot of skill in this Spurs side. They've won it back. Walsh beating Walsh. Difficult one for Spencer Pryor. Very, very long kick from goalkeeper to goalkeeper. On a night of uh, October, warmth, very little wind. Away by Gascoigne. Brush with Lineker. Stopped by Edinburgh and back it goes to Paul Sansom. Nicely done. McDonough flicks on, crown chases, but that one's tidied up. And still Southend looking for that one goal that'll knock Spurs out. Over the top again. And here comes Naeem, Naeem is in there. He scores, but the flag is up. Naeem has put it into the back of the net, but he's going to get some bad news in a minute. The referee checking as to why the linesman's flag went up over that side. Was Naeem in an offside position when he took that ball? It's very difficult indeed, impossible for us to see from this elevated position. But it looks as if Naeem is going to have his goal ruled out. He has, and Southend live on. Nicely taken goal, but it means nothing. It's still 3-2. And still this cup tie is unresolved. Last period now of extra time. Both sides could claim they've had opportunities to wrap the thing up. But in effect, 3-3 on aggregate. It still remains in the balance. Although if it stays like this, obviously Spurs are the winners because of the away goals that they've scored. But Southend still capable of pinching it. Well, the challenge on Howells by McDonough, not a particularly good one. And the referee is gonna get involved with this one as well. There's a rash one by Roy McDonough. Everybody's getting pretty tired now. And of course, McDonough has been booked already in this game. A point I think that Paul Roberts is putting over to him. If he's going to get booked twice as he is, he's got to go. And Roy McDonough is off. Well, a very, very sad way for McDonough to end this game because he's certainly played well he's been very competitive two yellow cards mean I'm afraid he's off and whatever Paul Roberts says in his defense it won't make any difference now and it's 10 against 10 as 10 goes Naeem with the kick, chip forward for Vandenhaal, Naeem again, very little time left now and Spurs happy to show some of their talents, Vandenhaal in for Gascoigne,
Well won, and here's David Crown going for this. Crown with a chance here. Crown into the arms of the Norwegian goalkeeper. It bounced so awkwardly three or four times for a couple of players. It dropped to David Crown. You thought he's going to score. He hits it very, very cleanly straight at the goalkeeper. So another opportunity goes begging. A difficult one to be assured, but for David Crown, that was a real opportunity to win the game. Here's Gascoigne. Down he comes. Play on. Well, bearing in mind some of the decisions, some of the tackles we've had. I don't know whether that was a free kick or not. Now, Spurs are hanging on to the scoreline here that'll give them a passage into the next round. And Southend will be thinking of the opportunities that David Crown had that might have put them in the next round. Walsh causing trouble in the air. Here's Bennett. Crown. Howells hits it against him. Butler can't get it. Naeem quickly forward to Walsh. Laid aside to Van den Howe. He just bangs it. Walsh chases. And it's put out very well by Paul Brush. Still the pace is flying. Walsh. Oh, into the side netting. And that had gone out before Edinburgh and Lineker came in on that one. So as we move into time added on in this second period of extra time, it doesn't look as if it's going to be South End's night unless they can pull something out of the bag here. But how well they fought. Players like uh, Peter Butler must be desperately tired here. That one not cleanly through the middle as the final whistle goes and it's all over for South End. The final score is South End 3, Spurs 2. They've beaten the first division side, but on aggregate 3-3, because of the away goals rule, Spurs go through. But South End will be very proud of what they've achieved here tonight. They've fought hard, they've played magnificently. It wasn't quite enough.